Hey, this is William with AttackOfTheFanboy.com, and Kyle, this is Star Wars Battlefront. Again, we're taking a look at the full version of the game this time, after we both took a look at it earlier this year, uh, when it was on open beta for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. I recently reviewed this game, spent a bunch of time with it over the weekend, and... I put up a review for it. I gave Have it a three point five out of five. Yeah, you were mildly impressed. I was there. Okay, Star Wars Battlefront is an awesome game. Like, there's no doubt about it. When you fire this game up, it, it oozes every single thing you want out of a Star Wars video game. Dice has done a tremendous job with the presentation aspects of it. Um, the the sights and sounds of the game are awesome. Um, going on to play the the massive walker assault mode for the very first time um, fighting side by side with the ATATs, becoming Darth Vader Luke Skywalker that stuff is phenomenal but yep. you know after you play this game for just a short amount of time it kind of reveals itself as lacking in content um, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure that like people who play shooters as you know, as a hobby, are going to have enough in this game to kind of dig in for the long haul. And, uh, I mean, that was just my takeaway from it. I got kind of bored with it. I think there's a very... The selection of maps, the selection of... Uh, I mean, just the way, the depth to the gameplay. There's a lot of things about this game that, you know, just don't grab you um, and, and kind of pull you in in the way that you want something... Uh, want a shooter to do. Yeah, I, I think that was, I think that that was most people's fear with the game. I mean, and and it almost mirrors the reaction. Like the game was first announced, and everyone freaked out. They were so excited. It looked amazing. Um, you know, it was it was Battlefront coming back. Everyone was excited. Everyone was hyped. And then they started to explain what was in the game. And every time something was announced, it seemed like everyone's excitement level went down and down uh no space battles oh okay uh you know what is it i think 12 maps across four worlds something like that and, oh that's unfortunate yeah i mean the way that that map stuff is set up though it's really okay so the best part about star wars battlefront is the big battle walker assault mode and yeah there... which was in the beta yeah, well, that's, uh, the, that's the thing they showcased on Hoth, and there are only three other maps. So, for In that, inside for that, that mode. game mode. And, yeah. and, and the other big battle mode called Supremacy. There are only four maps for those modes. So, if, like, that's your thing, and that really is the draw for this game, because it's not Team Deathmatch yeah. um, that, that people want to play in this game. It's just not strong enough of a shooter to kind of have that be fun. As something like I'm gonna play a night, I'm gonna play all team deathmatch tonight because I really love that game mode. It's not going to happen yeah. for people. Um, you know, it's not Dice's strength. It's not their strength in in Battlefield games. It's not their strength here in Battlefront. Um, so their strength is the big stuff with all the vehicles, all the weapons, the the, the big battles of Battlefront is is mm -hmm. the draw and. You know, four maps for that stuff, if you sit down to play it, which I did for a couple evenings, um, and days, it was just... You get, you get tired of them. Quick. You just get tired of playing the same maps over and over. There's just, it's just not different enough every time to really, um, you know, make it not stop from getting boring, you know, yeah. which was horrible to experience when, when you look at how good this game is, um, I mean, playing it as you can see on this level there's a lot of detail in these levels and they're beautiful i mean um, it looks gorgeous it is gorgeous uh it's not the best looking game ever but the art design is 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 really really great i mean obviously they've they've gotten access to the whole catalog of you know this star wars franchise and every single thing in it is like meticulously recreated um to kind of immerse you in this world but I just wish there was more of it for, especially for the big, big battle modes. 
Um, and and if, if, for instance, you do end up liking one of the... I mean, there are a lot of modes in this game other than those two. I just foresee people wanting to play those the most because yeah. they're the coolest. Uh, the other stuff is kind of... Um, I don't know, half baked. There's yeah, a hero, I mean that, that was the mode. feeling. That was the feeling in uh, in the beta. They had that one. It wasn't team deathmatch, but it was some kind of capture. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. And it just didn't. It didn't work right. It didn't feel like Battlefront. All of them. All the other modes kind of feel like that. Everything except the Walker assault mode actually kind of feels like. Well, this is okay, but I wish you know. Mm -hmm. Um. All of the other modes feel like that. It just feels like a game that needed more maps for the walker or something. Yeah. Um, but with the other stuff's okay. It's not horrible. I could see playing it here and there, but again, just like everything, um, you know, it, it can get boring after a little while. Uh, and there's only, like, for the other modes, there's six or seven maps. Okay. So, you know, even there, that's not a huge amount of maps. It's just the way the DICE does it with these... Um, different game modes. They did it in Battlefield 2. Some maps are big. Some maps uh, facilitate like air combat better than others. Some facilitate, you know, ground combat better than others. But with Battlefront, it just feels very uh, broken up in weird ways. But, yeah. Which I mean is a little weird. I mean, you'd think that they would be able to. I know in Battlefield, I played three and four. If you played Team Deathmatch, it would take that large map and just shrink it. It, it would cut you down to a small area. Um, so the same map could be used for multiple modes. And maybe maybe they needed to do that here so that they could have all 12 or so. I, I'm pretty sure it was 12 maps. If, if they could have all 12 maps work in all the modes, uh, do you think that that would have made it Yeah, if they could have made it better? If, 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 if Walker Assault and the uh, Supremacy mode had 12 maps... Help, I mean, that would definitely help a lot in, in making that a little bit more, you know, the tedium just of setting in. First of all, if you played the beta, you probably played that map 20 times. I played it more than 20 times. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then you're like, I got three maps. Some of them are cool. Like, this is a new one. Uh, and then there's two others. It's like, man, yeah, if you could have had 12 maps, which they will eventually probably have six to eight maps, I'm thinking... I saw the uh, season pass details. I think there's three more, four more big maps coming. Yeah. So that, that number will double, but, you know, that'll cost more money. Yep. And it's like, man, that would have really helped out right now. Uh, for, for people that, you know, really want to dig in and make this the shooter that they're playing, right? Uh, I, don't, I don't doubt that this is going to be a popular game. Um, with not just shooter fans, but just Star Wars fans um, that want to kind of get something else outside of the the movie experience, mm -hmm. um, I definitely can see can see people playing that, and it almost feels like the game was designed for those people um, with a lack of real depth in 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 the gameplay. Um, yeah, most it, of the it, modes just feel like, hey, run in there. It felt like more of a casual experience. Very Just, casual. Yeah. Compared to like something like Battlefield, uh, that has your classes and everybody plays a role, I think that would be, just be too complicated for the audience that this game is probably intended for. And, yeah. you know, that sucks for people who are, you know, that, that gaming is more of a serious hobby for them. They like to compete in shooters and stuff like that. Uh, this doesn't really feel like that it's that game. Uh, like you said, it just feels like a more casual experience. And then even for people who want to stay in for the long term, you know, there is a progression system. Um, but it's only got, uh, I believe, 12 unlockable weapons. I mean, I fin I almost unlocked everything in two days. Mm. You know, there's 24 power-ups. As you can see yeah. on the right-hand side there, There's you, you have a hand and uh, you can pick three power-ups to put in that in that hand. There's different things, whether they be missile launchers, grenades, um, or perks for your character. Like, I have the focus aim. There's an ion blaster, which takes down shields. There's a, there's a lot of different stuff that you can, you can kind of customize in there, but there's only 24 of them uh, in total. And that stuff unlocks fairly quickly. It's like you pretty much get to the end of this thing in short order. Yeah. But... You know, it's. I just keep coming back to. The 
the point that it just feels like a game that might be a little bit short on content. Yeah, and I, I mean, even just even in the beta, I think people were were already feeling that. It just you know, you could look at it, they had stuff locked off, but you could kind of look at what was available in terms of unlocks. And I mean, in the beta, I had everything unlocked in like a half an hour to an hour or so, um, if I'm remembering correctly. And that was a good portion of the upgrades and, and abilities. So I definitely see where you're coming from. Um, I still, I will say, just with my experience in the beta, I didn't mind the the repetition so much. Like I put a ton of time into that beta. I don't, I don't know what it was. There's something about this game that I'm okay, kind of overlooking some of that. I yeah, recognize that if you're a Star thing. Wars fan, you're like, this is the best Star Wars game or one of the best uh, Star Wars games done at this level of fidelity. Like, yeah. there is nothing that has ever been close to anything like this. Um, it's it's just, uh, it's not something that feels like it has legs. Like, in six months, you're not going to be playing this going, I'm still having a great time mm -hmm. with this pretty, uh, you know run-of-the-mill mode other than the fact that you get to become the hero and yeah. then you know you have modes like this one that's that's loading up right now it's blast which is basically team deathmatch um you know you still use the your your power-ups um and and your unlocked blasters and stuff like that but it's fairly straightforward um it's a smaller map and the objective is pretty simple just kill more people than the other team um and and it's it just feels like there could have been more thought put into some of this stuff uh, to make it maybe last longer. I, I just don't see myself wanting to play Battlefront Deathmatch, you know, a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, I Deathmatch in, in general in dice games hasn't been, like you said, it's, it's not a highlight of Battlefield. And, I mean, the shooting in Battlefront, from what I played... It wasn't amazing. Like it works. It's it's good. There's nothing wrong with it at all. But it's not like it's not like a Destiny, or even to me uh, a Halo or a Battlefield, where like there's so much to that combat that I, I'm okay playing some deathmatch in Battlefield. No, just, it's just hope. Aim in the direction and hope yeah. you hit something. And <laughs> yeah. run, keep running to the objective if it's an objective-based mode, uh, or just wait till your grenade pops up again so you can throw it. I, I mean that that is it is very very casual. Uh, of that sort of experience it doesn't feel like there's that much strategy involved with any of it and they kind of take took a lot of that away i mean i thought they could have i like the system in battlefield of playing with four other people working as a team to get stuff mm -hmm. accomplished healing each other doing that sort of stuff there's none of that in here i think that this game probably could have worked uh if, if they would have made it you know, More squad-based? I think squad-based would have helped. Um, yeah, because they Maybe some... Uh, not just squad-based, but give people abilities, you know, uh, yeah. or classes to to build out. I mean, that's that was a lot of the fun for me with Battlefield is, you know, I'm going to work on my sniper class for a little bit. I'm going to work <laughs> on my medic class for a little bit and, and keep going back and forth and, and running through that deep system of progression for that game because... You had to go down, you know, a multiple different paths to get everything and unlock everything. And this just isn't that. Yeah. Which, the last... It's been a long time since I played Battlefront 2, but that definitely had classes. It, it had different abilities. Um, I remember it's droids. You could spawn as different types of droids and all that sort of stuff. I don't know that it was a progression. I don't think you unlocked a lot of stuff. But that alone, like, you you could... you It would change your strategy in battle um, that I don't think is present here i mean you can get like longer range weapons but di did you feel like that actually altered the way that you would play a match or did they all kind of play the same well the long range weapon like the sniper rifle is one of your cards uh, i don't yeah. know if you remember that from the yep, beta but they had that, that in the beta they don't have any so sniper only... rifles that you can use by by default not not like that one not that are like one shot kills like that uh they have there's there's a bunch of different weapons in in that 11 mm -hmm. 12 uh there are quite a few different there's like shotgun type weapons one shot you know close range stuff which i show which i have one at the end of this at the end of this video um and you know there's there's heavy 
blasters with um, that shoot more like the one I'm using here. Uh, the ones you start with, the single shot um, kind of pistols. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a bunch of different types, but I think most of the... I, if, I think if they made a, a sniper rifle in this game, people would just be sitting... Up in the trees. In the trees. Sni- yeah, sniping. Because snipe you already find people doing that, you know, not playing the objectives and, and just going for kills that way. Um, I found that a lot, especially in the objective modes, the big ones like Supremacy. Yeah. Would you, would you say that this feels more like a platform than a full game? Because we've seen that a lot lately with games launching if, that are if, more platforms for future growth. Rather feels, than a game in and of itself. Um, I mean, I think for me personally, I think it feels like a game that had two years. They had two years to make. You know. Yeah, I liked your point in the review that they signed, they inked the deal like two years ago, 2013. Yeah. So two, they couldn't well, like, have been just working a little bit office. over two. They weren't. They definitely weren't working on Battlefront before they signed the deal with Disney, right? There's no way that that happened. Yeah. But uh, you know, if. Um, they had two years to make a game. I just don't... St- I'm surprised it came out as well as it did. Yeah, how is this mode? Because I this love is, space battles, and this is as close as we're getting. This is as close as you're going to get uh, to space battles, and it's not bad the first time you play it, Kyle. Like, I played this mode <laughs> six... Your first hour with Star Wars Battlefront will be fantastic every hour no, after. No, this is not, not so great. That is not an understatement. <laughs> When you are doing this for the first time and you find you have the controls down and you mm-hmm. you know it's you're having a good time you're dogfighting it's all very very fun the first few times you play it, um, but play this mode three four times and it's kind of like okay I've seen I've seen this I've done mm-hmm. this I don't feel like doing this anymore, um, it's just a problem that is kind of consistent throughout this yeah. game where it's like this is fun. I'm glad I got to try this, but this isn't something I'm going to do on a regular basis. Um, and it's, you know. Well, and flying the ship was another instance where it wasn't, it wasn't broken, it wasn't broken at all. But it didn't feel natural. Like nothing, uh, the the whole the meter at the bottom, the way that that works for your uh, your propulsion and and everything. Nothing really worked exactly how I wanted it to. Once I got it down, it was fine, but it wasn't like uh, I'm trying to think of like Crimson Skies or something where it was really, really fun. Star Wars Battlefront 2, where it was really, really fun to fly the ship and and fight. Uh, I didn't get that feeling from the beta. Uh, I mean, I don't know this. Did you play the the specific mode for, it or were you just flying around? Just in flying the, in in the Hoth battle. In the Hoth battle, yeah. I think this plays a little better than that because everyone is in this little, in this map. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you have more room to work with in in this in the map specifically for this mode than you do uh, in in the eight, in the Walker Assault mode. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, for some people, th- like Battlefield had this. Battlefield Four had this. Um, oh yeah, yeah, with the planes. I they, played they that mode like two times. Fighting mode. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it kind of, it's it's not for everybody. It certainly doesn't uh, hold interest for very long. At least for me, it didn't. It's kind of the same thing for for Battlefront. Um, I did have fun with it. It looks fantastic yep. uh, when you're playing it. Uh, everything in this game looks fantastic, and I like the controls for for this mode specifically. I didn't go into it in too much detail because it just would have been like, yeah, this is a lot of fun the first time you play it. But um, you know, and all of this stuff has the, you know the score thumping in the background. It's just oh yeah, the sound in general, the yeah. music, and the laser blasters and the shield everything in here sounds authentic they they nailed that so well oh, yeah. that it, it's it it's disappointing that there isn't enough content here that lets you enjoy that well there will i mean i mean this we will go back to what you said about the building of the platform um there's going to be more maps they're going to double yeah. the amount of maps uh over the course of the life of this game it's just for me, I don't know that I'll still be interested in this by the time all that stuff comes out. 
and and if 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 it could, if it could have arrived with the game at launch, I just feel like the game would have been so much better, so much more to dig into. Um, and I don't know. I mean, I don't think the gameplay is super deep, but if I, if there were more maps, I think that would help out immensely. Yeah. And and that's just a matter of content. Um, I, I also said in the review, you know, putting four maps for your, your primary game mode at launch is like, for a game that's focused around multiplayer, is the same as like delivering a four hour campaign for a game that's a single player centric, mm -hmm. you know? And it's just not, it's just not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much, do you know how much the season pass is? I think it's like 50 bucks. Oh yeah, because it was like 110. People were saying 110 for the whole game. Yeah, which is, I mean, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best. And then you're still waiting for that stuff. I think that's the primary, the primary thing is when people get bored of this game in a week, and you've spent 110 dollars on it, and it's going to be, I don't know how long it's going to take them to put all that stuff out. I don't think they've said anything, but mm -hmm. you know. The, com the the battlefront the community for this game just might not be there we s we've seen it with other games yeah. titanfall by the yep. end of titanfall's dlc people weren't playing it you know yep that's true and uh you know that's you know one of the things people are kind of upset about uh with this game right is no single player stuff or a, <laughs> a lack of really they have single player stuff in here. They have cooperative stuff in here. But I think most of that's most of that stuff really just hammers home what could have been with this game. Yeah, because it's it's not it's not like a story mode. It's not even really a campaign mode. No, it's but you could tell that of... they have you know this could have totally worked as a single player game. Uh, there could have been, but. I don't think they had enough time to do something like that, to be honest with you. Two years, I just don't see that to be enough time for them to bang out a campaign, uh, you know, the co-op stuff, and a, a multiplayer game. Yeah, the, the single player in the beta was just kind of a horde mode. Is it? Is that about it in the main game? Well, you do have... There are some different, there are some different levels in the single player stuff. You've got um, some levels, some battles that you can control heroes like Han Solo um, and, and you but you basically just run around and pick up coins uh, you kill enough enemies and you collect enough coins that's the end of the mission um, and most most of the, the battle missions are like that and then on the co-op side which is you can play either cooperatively or single player um, is the horde mode stuff which yeah. has like 15 levels that you got to get through and I, I i played through a few of those by myself on the regular skill level and they just weren't challenging at all there were multiple difficulty levels that you could um turn that up if you wanted to get more out of it and i guess that's a single player mode yeah it's it's as much of a single player mode as you're probably going to get but then they also have these training missions um where like you're you're piloting um you're piloting ships, or you're controlling the the walker, the ATAT walkers. I, what are the smaller ones called? ATST. ATST. You, you're piloting those. There's one where you're you're Vader and you're going through you know an installation and just clearing out rebels. Uh, there are some cool things that probably could have that are in the tutorial that are like, wait, well, why didn't you just? make this into some court you know you could have added like eight or nine more of these and you would have had a single player game you mm. would have, yeah or if there was a little bit more depth to that stuff they're tutorial missions so you you know they don't really kind of satisfy the way that a single player campaign would but uh, but it could have it it's a teaser it's like wait wait this totally would have worked yeah because you, know? you have to think about it well like who wants to play as the rebel going through a first person shooter like this like they have a lot of good ideas and vehicle sequences that they could have put together um to to make a single player game and i don't necessarily think that this needed to be a single player game i'm not one of those people that's like oh fuck you i wanted a single player experience yeah uh, because 
but it is nice to have something to fall back on, right? Yeah, and and with the, I mean, whenever a company says, okay, we're going to focus on multiplayer, you usually kind of expect a, a very robust multiplayer. Right. And with that lack of content, you then look at it and go, well, what else is there? And if there was a single player campaign, like a, a nice thing with maybe a maybe a story, it doesn't necessarily have to have a, an in-depth story, but kind of the conquest thing that we've seen before where you're you're managing the galaxy again it's been a long time but i'm pretty sure you were kind of planet hopping and taking them over for your faction then you can kind of fall back on that and be like that that's that's where these missing maps went and i'm okay with that yeah and this is you know this is the other part of the time that they put into it this this kind of stuff that's on the screen right now i'm running around as han solo there is i mean it just feels empty and lifeless and this is not like a worthwhile thing that i feel like playing um this is the single player offering yeah and it's like dude you guys <laughs> you're you just guys like running in circles manage for- yeah and that that's the objective right there pick up those things it's like wow i would have definitely taken more multiplayer and this is a multiplayer map anyway you know it's just a different it's just on it's a single player mode on a multiplayer map then when you're fighting against ai and then you can join up with friends to do the co-op but there's no matchmaking or at least not that i saw um Mm. so it's like if you have friends cool you can play with them if not you know it's kind of like destiny you're you, you play by yourself yeah so that that definitely sucks, uh, but there is you know a, for people who do want to dig into it, I guess the the, the real thing is uh, challenges. Okay. So you know th- all these levels, stuff like this is you're scored uh, for how well you do, what skill level you play it on, how quickly you do it, how much health you have at the end of it, and stuff like that. So. Uh, I don't know if you looked and saw that diorama thing at the beginning where I was tabbing through. Um, that's basically like your catalog of stuff that you earn, challenges you complete in the game. So, I mean, there is that sort of stuff for like the hardcore Star Wars fans that um, that do find, do want to do and see everything in this game. Um, and, and shit, like if you buy it, I don't see why you wouldn't. But Yeah. <laughs> what's like the goal of the challenges other than to challenge yourself are you uh, like well, you get, earning something or you are you i mean if you complete certain challenges you get pieces to a diorama oh, okay that's what you're I, and I, and then you kind of build that diorama and if you complete all the different challenges you kind of you just get pieces for it as you go and you have to do like stuff across the whole scope of the game whether that's in the solo uh co-op hmm you know tutorial missions um the the horde stuff yep so yeah uh, i mean but there'll be a season pass yeah and then then the game will be there will be a season pass everything you want it to be i mean if 49.99 more and you've got yourself a complete game if if it was and i mean we haven't seen what's all in there but do you feel like if that that was included in this game that it would be what you were looking for more maps i mean yes if you're going to build a multiplayer only game yes i need more than 12 maps yeah uh and and but further that point it's not necessarily the amount of maps for in total but the main attraction is Walker Assault. It's their biggest. It's their biggest thing in the game. It's the best thing in the game. And there's only four maps. That's the, the that's my major problem with this. And the other modes are just uninspired. And having more maps for those modes doesn't mean anything to me mm-hmm. personally. And I don't think it will mean there may. I might be 100% wrong. And the people who buy this game are like, I fucking love Droid Run. Droid Run is the best mode I've ever played, and I'm glad that they have seven maps for it. But as it stands, it's not the way I felt with it after spending however long with the game this weekend. I think there will be an audience like that that enjoys it, but I think that there's also a very large audience that's like you. And I think that they've been expressing these concerns for a while. So to see that it is definitely this way um, with the final product, that's definitely disappointing. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, I, I don't know that I'm disappointed by the game. I like it. I, you know, scored it, liked 3.5 out of 5, um, because there's a lot, there's a lot good about the game. Yeah, and what just, what they got right, they seem to have gotten very, very right. Yeah, it's very, just, very right. It's they just have, everything else. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Uh, I think reviews will be live for that thing tonight at midnight, and we'll see what you know the, the other reviewers thought about it, and we'll definitely get a chance to see what fans think about it. Uh, I think that'll be very interesting. I'd like. I want. I know a lot of people were playing it this weekend on on Xbox One for that early access period, and you know I kind of got mixed reactions. I, I there's a lot of people out there who are loving it. There's a lot of people out there that you know feel like me, and we'll see yep. here shortly. All right, well that was Star Wars Battlefront for the second time. This time in full, Kyle. Thanks for joining me to talk about Battlefront. Are you getting this game? Uh, I don't know. Probably not just because I want to play more Fallout. Oh. <laughs> Still on the Fallout. Still on the Fallout. No, I thought you were a Star Wars fan, man. I be am. Of yourself. I, was, I was really excited for this game, but... Uh, and now you're like, eh, I'll wait. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, I'll wait. Is it, is it a content thing, or is it just like, do you think you've seen what you need to see in the beta to, to enjoy this game? I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's it's that I, I played a ton of the beta. I got my fill there. Um, it's that I don't see that much in here to warrant the purchase. And it, it honestly is that I, there's just, there's a lot of games. It's a big, big time for games. I mean, I want to play some Fallout. I want to play... Um, baby Rise of the Tomb Raider. I don't know. So, you know, it's got to win me over with with a lot of stuff. So, uh, okay. it, it is a wait and see. I think eventually I'm going to get it. It's just a question of how soon. All right. Well, thanks for watching. That was Star Wars Battlefront in stores November 17th for Xbox One, PS4, and PC for Kyle. I'm William for Attack of the Fanboy.